My name is Maya McGuire, and I am an educator with Florida Sea Grant at the University of Florida. As a marine biologist, I study things that live in the ocean. Today I am going to read a chapter from a book that I wrote with some friends. The book is called One in a Thousand, Those Amazing Sea Turtles. Chapter 3, Sea Turtle Evolution and Anatomy. The oldest relatives of the seven sea turtle species that are alive today lived 110 million years ago. Sea turtles form good fossils. Their skeletons and bony shells are preserved in ancient rocks. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest sea turtle alive today, but it is small compared to its ancestor. About 80 million years ago, a giant sea turtle called Archelon swam in the ancient sea. From fossil skeletons, we know that Archelon was about 13 feet long. The measurement from the tip of one front flipper to the other was over 16 feet. It probably weighed about 5,000 pounds. That's about the same as an adult white rhinoceros. Like the leatherback, Archelon probably had a leathery covering on its back. It may have eaten squid-like animals. Archelon is most closely related to the leatherback sea turtle. The other sea turtles, which have hard shells, are more closely related to each other than to the leatherback. Archelon became extinct with the dinosaurs about 50 to 60 million years ago. Sea turtles have several adaptations that help them live in the ocean. Their front limbs, like our arms, are long paddle-like flippers. They have the same basic bones in their flippers as people have in their arms. However, sea turtles cannot bend their flippers at the finger or wrist joints. The sea turtle's body is streamlined. This allows it to swim quickly through the water. Sea turtles have tear ducts. Instead of crying because they are sad, Sea turtles cry to get rid of salt. The salt is in the turtle's body because it drinks seawater. Sea turtles have an internal skeleton. The hard-shelled sea turtles have more bones than the leatherback. The extra bones help provide support for the shell. The shell forms an external skeleton. The ribs of hard-shelled sea turtles are fused to the spine and to flatten bones that cover most of the carapace. The scoots of the shell are made from keratin. This is the same material that makes up human fingernails. The hard part of the turtle's shells is actually the bone underneath the keratin. Sea turtle scoots will continually add and lose layers as they grow. Hard-shelled sea turtles have toenails that are modified into claws. They can have one or two claws on both the front and back flippers. Leatherback sea turtles do not have claws on their flippers. This freshwater turtle skeleton shows the fused bones that cover the turtle's back. Sea turtles have soft skin on their necks, shoulders, and between their back flippers. Sea turtle skin turns a darker color in the sunlight. Animals that live in deeper water habitats often have pale skin. Those in shallow water have darker skin. The leatherback turtle skin often looks pink. This might be because of high blood flow below the skin's surface. Sea turtles have strong muscles. Muscles are primarily used for swimming, crawling, feeding, and breathing. When a sea turtle eats, it uses its tongue to push food into its esophagus. The esophagus is a tube that connects the mouth and the stomach. It has soft, finger-like spikes inside it. These are called papillae. They point down towards the stomach. They can keep slippery food items, like jellyfish, moving down towards the stomach. The turtle's stomach starts to digest the food. The food then moves into the intestines where the digestion continues. The pancreas and liver add special chemicals called enzymes to the intestines to help with this. 
the sea turtle uses its intestines to absorb nutrients from the food. The nutrients are transported around the body in the turtle's blood. Sea turtles come to the surface of the ocean to breathe. They can hold their breath for up to several hours. They push out old air from their lungs and gulp in fresh air through their nostrils and mouth. The air is breathed into the lungs. Oxygen from the air moves into the turtle's blood vessels and is pumped around the body by the heart. The sea turtle's brain has sections that coordinate the senses. Smell and vision are two important senses for turtles. Turtles seem to be able to smell underwater and in air. They might use smell to help them find food. Some scientists think that sea turtles might use smell to help them find their way to their nesting beaches. Sea turtles can see in color. They use their eyes to help them find food. Sea turtles can hear, but they do not have external earlobes. Sea turtles use their inner ear to orient themselves. This helps them tell if they are upside down or sideways. Sea turtles seem to have a sense of touch, but researchers do not know much about this sense. Sea turtles seem to have the ability to remember things, like the shape of the coastline where they hatched. Sea turtles may be able to sense the Earth's magnetic field. Scientists do not know how they do this, but they think that it helps sea turtles navigate in the ocean. Sea turtles are cold-blooded, but they have ways of keeping warm or cool as needed. They can warm up by resting at the ocean's surface. In Hawaii, green sea turtles will crawl onto the beach during the day. This lets the sun warm their bodies. Sea turtles can migrate to avoid cold water temperatures. They can also change their body temperature by controlling how much blood flows into their flippers. Warm blood in the flippers is cooled by the surrounding seawater. If a turtle wants to cool off, it can send more blood through the flippers. This is the end of chapter three. Do you want to learn more? Look for recordings of additional chapters on the Florida Sea Grant YouTube channel.